Hello guys, what's up? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to overclock your Dell T3500 server desktop. As you know, the T3500 is not overclockable by default, but today we are going to do that in this tutorial. Open Task Manager and go to the Performance tab. Here you can see I am running an Intel Xeon W3690 processor clocked at a base frequency of 3.46 GHz and a boost frequency of 3.73 GHz. Make sure you have a W series processor and not an X series one, as those are not overclockable and have locked multipliers. Make sure you have an unlocked processor. For this process, we will be using two programs, linked to both of which I have given in the description below. Go ahead and download both of the programs from their respective websites. Open Windows Explorer and install CPU-Z Select where you will be installing the app. I am not going to complete further steps as I already have the application installed. After extracting the throttle stop bar ra file, run the executable app. You will get a warning, which is for extreme overclocking. Open CPU-Z and keep it beside it. If we bench the CPU, we see that it runs with a core multiplier of 27. The table below shows all your CPU threads and their respective multipliers and C0 states. Now that we have baseline scores for both multi-core and single-core performance, let's start. Click on the TPL or Total Power Limit tab. The default TPL of my processor is 130 watts. Go ahead and change it to 180 watts. Click Apply and OK. Then. Click on the TRL or Turbo Ratio Limit tab. The default multiplier is 28 on two cores and 27 on four cores. Change it to 30 on all cores. I recommend keeping it at 30 as anything above it becomes extremely unstable and may cause a blue screen of death and cause the PC to crash. Click Apply and OK. And there it is, as simple as that. Your CPU is now overclocked. I recommend running a few benchmarks to ensure that your system is stable and that your CPU stays cool under load. I would suggest adding a few extra case fans just to be safe. We can verify the overclock by running the CPU-Z benchmark again to see the increase in single core and multi-core performances. When running the benchmark, we can see that our CPU attains a multiplier of 30 on all cores and that our CPU is now running at a boost frequency of 4 GHz. After the benchmark completes, we can see we have gotten a performance uplift of almost 5 to 8%, which is a very substantial one considering that BIOS does not allow us to overclock at all. I have listed a few benchmark results. Overall, we can see a performance uplift of upwards of 10%. If you face any issues in the process or have any other queries, ask me in the comments section down below.